More now on the Republican debate, which was reignited yesterday, 15 years since the 1999 referendum. Peter Fitzsimons is the national chair of the Australian Republican movement, and he joins us now from Sydney. Peter, good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Virginia. Peter, this must be a serious topic because you've removed your bandana, which means ah. we're talking about <laughs> issues of national importance, mate. <laughs> the bandana sometimes scares the horses if they <laughs> haven't seen me before, so they, they jump about. So I'm, I'm trying to look a little bit more credible. Yeah, see, there you go. That's what we're reaching for here, credible. Credibility. You, you've got to reach also for a lot of pub popular support because compared, what, compared, to, well, but compared to back in the 90s when we really had li high levels for support of a republic, they're, they're off their highs at the moment, aren't they? Well, but I'll tell you what, we are coming back. No joke. The, the response, I did a speech yesterday out on ABC, you'll be pleased to hear for the National yes, Press Club. Our, our, our uh, membership site crashed and crashed three times yesterday afternoon. So, you know, people, people wanting to join up and I, no joke. I have been overwhelmed by people saying, yes, let's do this. This is the 21st century. It doesn't have to be a huge structural change. We simply, I mean, the, the proposal that I put out, um, and I'm, I'm the chair of the ARM, but everybody's got a different, well, there's, there's a, several different models, but for what it's worth, the model that I have, the current system is the Prime Minister chooses the Governor General, asks the Queen of England. The system I propose is, Everything stays the same. We stay, still call that person the Governor-General. Prime Minister chooses the Governor-General. And instead of asking a woman living in a palace in London, is it OK what we Australians have decided, the Prime Minister asks the Parliament of the people for a two-thirds majority. And it's done. And we all get on with our lives. And it won't affect the economy downwards. <laughs> You know, it's, it's a very simple proposal. And I'll tell you what, no joke, I, I mean, I thought we were going to be in for a long struggle, and I accept, you know, it's not going to be easy. But I've just, the response from yesterday has been overwhelming. The other theme I've been banging on about is your goodwill is not enough. OK. We need more than goodwill. Can I just ask you, though, about that very simple proposal that, that you and I, I accept mm. your point that many other people have different models and, and that's where the entire debate broke mm. down last time around. It's a simple change, but what powers would be vested in that Governor-General? Would they be identical? And if that's the case, to whom does that Governor-General refer if they have a problem with the current Prime Minister? The way that I propose it is everything stays the same. So, you don't, you know, all of the reserve powers are absolutely the same. And if that governor, if the, if the governor general were to lose confidence of the parliament, then he would then then we'd go back to the prime minister would uh, choose another governor general. But you know, it basically the, the essence of it is the power resides in the people. And as I say, this is my proposal. There are other proposals. I might say, the other night I uh, was honoured to be invited to the residence of the Irish ambassador, and I talked to his wife about how direct election works in, in Ireland. And I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe that could work too. I mean, the, the point with this one is, the, the mis not the mistake that was made in 1999, because there were so many people of goodwill that worked so hard in 1999, but the, the sad thing about 1999 was the disunity between Republicans. Now, I proposed the minimalist model, others proposed the direct election. We will have to sort that out as, a, right. as a country and then we decide and Republicans to get in behind and say this is the model. But that's indeed where it did break down and look we won't get bogged down in a discussion on your model because as you say it's, you know, it's just early days and there'll be different views anyway but I can already hear people saying but 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 in relation to the model that you say. So how I do can't, you... I can only hear I can only hear people in your studio here are going yay go Cheering. your you cameraman's hear jumping right. up and down. You must have better hearing than me. Um, but but that's, that's the essence of it that you do have to get some sort of unity or the entire debate falls away. So what does it mean then for your argument that you have someone like a Joe Hockey publicly in your corner now? Well, not only Joe Hockey. I mean, the, the, most, the most passionate speech I have ever heard on the Republic came from one Christopher Pine. You know, the point that was made yesterday is this is not a lefty-righty thing. I and many are tired. When I launched Joe Hockey's book last year, I said, I, I and many are tired of the mad march of Australian politics. I'm left, you're right, I'm left, you're right, left, right, left, right. It's tedious, we are over it. I'm tired of the world being divided up between Fairfax and Murdoch, between the ABC and commercial uh, and commercial networks, between gay and straight, you know, the proponents for and against, between warmest and denialist. Can we get one issue? We're one issue. We Australians. I am, you are, we are Australian, where we come together and say, 
What we're proposing here is not radical, it's not revolutionary, it is simply that a mature nation in the 21st century has to be able to organise its own affairs within its own borders. Can we come together? And there are. And, and so Joe Hockey putting his hand up saying, mm. I believe he's not the only one in the coalition by a country mile. Christopher Pine, I mentioned, Maurice Payne, Wyatt, Wyatt Roy. The coalition is awash with Republicans. This is the future of our nation. Let's just hold hands and move forward gently without endless snarkiness. I, must, I might say I got a very nice note from Professor David Flint. We're going to have lunch next week together to talk about things. So whatever we decide as a people... <laughs> no, seriously, it's, well, it's a nice thing. I don't want to... I, that's let's, very let's nice to hear. We'll, we'll send a camera along to that one. Because no, that, will you come that would with be us, most Virginia. amusing. You, you join us. I'll come along too. Lovely invitation accepted. Um, but but uh, I guess where the debate really has changed, not so much the debate, but I guess the um, the point of view of the Australian public generally, and maybe it goes to your issue of the, the, the mad uh, march of left-right, is that a number of people think that this is not a top order issue, that we need to be focusing mm. on other issues, on the economy and, those, and, the, and the like. Uh, What's your response to that I refer particular you to my, the, I refer, refer you to my speech yesterday. Sounding every, like a politician, mate. No, no, I know. Well, I don't want to be a politician, but as I, I refer you to the speech yesterday, which was or every step of our history, there have been nervous Nellies and nattering Neds. Is oh, we can't do it now, we can't do it now, there's more important things. Federation, 1890s Australia was a basket case economically. We still came together for Federation. Mm -hmm. when, when, when Scullin, our Prime Minister in 1931, for the first time appointed a homegrown Governor General, there was uproar. When Gough Whitlam said, you know what, maybe we Australians can run our own affairs and not have the appeal to the Privy Council. There was uproar there. I mean, at every step, uh, change the national anthem okay. from God Save the Queen. The point is, we're a mature, sophisticated nation. We can do this. And for those who are watching who are on my side, which I, I reckon I'm batting 75% of an ABC audience, join us. Join us. We can do this. Engage. Your goodwill is not enough. And it'll start with you, Virginia. What about you?